show. Today I'm talking about Page Boy. This is the actor Elliot Page's debut memoir. It was released June 6th of 2023 and it's a memoir so it's about their life but it's not so much of like anecdotes from set and stuff like that though there are things like that in here. It's more so about his journey of learning to accept himself for who he is in terms of his gender identity identity and his sexuality while both his family and Hollywood pressures him to be someone that he's not and truly detests. And it's really, really good. I thoroughly enjoyed this book. It's incredibly well written. Elliot is a really talented writer. They have such a way of being very vivid for sure, but then also just like going in depth with explaining emotions, really just telling the story emotionally. They do jump around a lot in the timeline, but I feel like that definitely worked. He this really interesting thing too where he explains the history of the area where he's talking about. So a good for instance is I think it was Halifax where this boat had literally tons of explosives on it and it blew up and devastated the whole area and he goes into such great detail of how that happened, why that happened, and the effect it had on the community and I feel like that definitely adds to his story too because it's still about like how things change and even though something gets like obliterated that doesn't mean it's the end of everything, but you still want to acknowledge like the tragedy that happened there while also acknowledging how like this unknown tragedy to you shaped you. And that's so interesting. I am a big fan of Elliot's. I've watched most of his films with my favorite movie ever is Juno. So that was kind of a big part of why I wanted to read this is because like I just connected with that movie so much and I was very excited to see what he had to say about his experience. I was also like kind of terrified because I'm like I really wanted him to have had a good experience with it. And if you're like me and you haven't read yet and you are kind of nervous about that. That's the one thing I'll definitely spoil with this is you can be at ease. The actual process of filmmaking he had a good time with. That chapter he spent like half of it talking about a different movie but that's because it was a very traumatic movie like the subject matter of the film was trauma but then he wasn't able to compartmentalize so he was taking that trauma home with him and that was bringing him to a really dark place and then Juno was kind of like that light to pull him out of that darkness. So that was just incredibly beautiful and it just like so heartwarming to hear that it helped pull him out of that. I will say though that like the award season stuff, having to promote the moving stuff, that wasn't a great experience for him, but it didn't seem like that negative experience with the award stuff cast a negative shadow on the film itself. So yes, even though it's terrible that he had the negative experience with the award stuff, I'm glad that that didn't hurt the movie itself because I, I love that movie so much. I would definitely totally recommend this movie, especially if you're younger and like you want to try to explore your ideas of gender and sexuality. It's literally into the mind of someone who struggled with it for decades. So there's definitely a lot to relate to in that regard and it's, it's very beautifully written. The only thing I would kind of caution with is that he does get a bit sexual at times. There's not a lot of it but it does pop up every now and again. Though I think if that's something you want to avoid I think you can still enjoy this book just because there are very short instances of it. So you just got to be prepared for them really. But yeah, no, I thoroughly enjoyed this book and would wholeheartedly recommend it. It's a very good, interesting read that I related to a lot and just, yeah, no, I loved it. I'd love it if Elliot either wrote a follow-up to this or honestly, he's gifted enough with his prose that I would totally read like a fiction book of his easily. Like he's definitely talented. Or if you want to write like a non-fiction book that's like the history of Halifax or something, I would probably read that too because like he's got a way with words that keeps me entertained. So yes, really good. Definitely recommend.